What's up, Libra? This is Soul here, and Libra, we're going to look at your week ahead starting November 26th and then December 3rd, 2023. Libra, I hope all is well. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, so this week, I'm using the Gilded uh, Tarot to deliver your energies here. Just going to cleanse the energy from Dawn Virgo's reading, and we shall begin. All right, so show Libra what they need to know this week, what's coming up for Libra. Energy for Libra. What can Libra expect? All right, here we go, Libra. We're starting off with the Ten of Wands. Well, some of you want to feel, you know, not in the mood or less energetic. We have the um, Wheel of Fortune, one of the big money cards here, Stroke of Luck, Fate and Destiny. We have the, I called this the Hierophant in another reading. I was so embarrassed, realized it's the Emperor. So no matter what's going on for you this week, Libra, you will be in control. Then we have the Six of Pentacles, card of charity and gift giving. We have the uh, King of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so again, uh, emotions could be overflowing here related to all relationships. Someone, normally when I get the Queen, King, Knight, um, since I don't do reversals that often, this is somebody here that now it may not be you, Libra. It could be somebody in the family that's dealing with some sort of emotional upset or disappointment here. All right. The, uh, eight of wands is in a reverse here. Something good is still coming, but there's a hold up or a delay. Communication has to be, um, you have to be mindful of communication. What you put out there may be misinterpreted or misunderstood and the information that comes your way may be uh, misinterpreted or misunderstood. Delay in traveling, cancellation of traveling plans fall underneath the uh, Eight of Wands. All right, so we have the Major Arcana, the Magician. Then we follow with the King of Wands. You're attracting some sort of energy towards you, focused on something or someone this week. Then we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is the rest, relaxation, rejuvenation, detachment of energies, reclaiming your independence and your happiness. Then we finish off with the page of pentacles. That's the job offer, the contract offer, right? Start of a business or a birth of a business ideal. Shadow energy, we have the five of swords. We have to be careful of people who may be envious of us uh, for something that we have. You have to, you know, figure something out, sort something out. And then also, too, we have to be careful of uh, people who have a tendency to play mind games or head games with us. We do have the magician on the negative end, so it may fall underneath that uh, energy. Then we have the queen of cups, okay? In spite of the king of cups being in the reverse, there is still a uh, potential and tendency to achieve some sort of emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, uh, and contentment. Why? Because of the relationships, the connections that you have, romantic partners, family, friends, new connections, trusting yourself, trust your intuition uh, this week. You're being guided here to make the right you know, decisions and choices. We finish off with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of, I'm sorry, the Nine of Wands. I read that wrong. Nine of Wands is here, and this means that in spite of the Ten of Wands being in the reverse, the energy will pick up for some of you. Maybe it's a lot of things that you may have, um, you know, put down on your calendar to do. This could be work-related matters, could be dealing with, uh, you know, uh, family situations, could be just doing stuff for yourself. Somehow, you know, you may start off not feeling energetic this week, but the energy picks up. Uh, with the nine of uh, wands in your shadow. All right. So let's put this all together here. So the 10 of wands in a reverse. Some of you may not feel like you're in the mood or, you know, have the energy to uh, carry out the tasks that you are uh, wanting to uh, carry out. So if you have, you know, five things li uh, lined up to do this week, maybe you'll accomplish only three. But then again, you get the boost of energy here with the nine of wands. So it could be different for each individual. The will of fortune is the fate and destiny card. So you could be somewhere where something auspicious opens or happens for you. Then the uh, uh, 
Will of Fortune is, again, the stroke of luck. So anything that was unfortunate for you, Libra, may turn around and uh, be fortunate and be in your favor. If you are the risk-taking Libra that likes to run to casinos or play the lottery, just play responsibly. This is big money here, okay? The Will of Fortune is on your side. The Emperor, you're going to be in control no matter what's going on here. Control of your own energies. You're not going to be in uh, any types of manipulative or con trying to control other people. This card here represents, uh, you know, uh, boss mode for me. So positions of authority, you may be asked to lead over others, or it could be involving any promotions to supervisory or managerial. The character here usually represents a father figure that may be connected to you, Libra. They're coming through just to acknowledge they may have worked in uh, law and enforcement or serve some sort of time in the military. Okay. And then also too, um, you guys could be dealing with court and law, uh, situations this week. If it's involving any money, there's money right there. The big money card. The six of pentacles is the card of gift giving and charity. So you could be, um, the receptor of a gift, or you could be given a gift. Any apologies. If there was any slight, um, interactions with others towards you, then they may come forward and apologize. This too is a pay raise, even number of pentacles. Again, the energy of what you give is what you're going to get back. I've explained the King of Cups in the reverse, but we also have the Queen of Cups here in the upright. So it could be energy that repels each other. You're still going to, um, you know, achieve some sort of emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment involving relationships this week. The Eight of Wands here, I said that there's a delay of happiness or some sort of good news or surprise that's coming your way. Be careful of communicating this week to others. It may be misunderstood or misconstrued. And um, flight delays, cancellations of traveling plans. The magician here on the positive end here is about manifesting. So, you know, your wants and your desires, if you're praying, uh, doing um, mantras or affirmations, continue to do so. The universe is paying attention. You just have to stay in alignment to those energies and um, you shouldn't have any problems. On a negative end, you have to be careful about people, uh, especially strangers. It still could be family members, romantic partners. Uh, on the negative end here, these people are manipulators. They're controllers. They're extractors. So, you know, use your discernment here and know the difference of what you're dealing with and people that, you know, come across your path um, and try to do those things that I had just mentioned. Control, extract, and manipulate. King of Wands, you're attracting some sort of energy towards you. This is a card that represents being focused on something or someone. Uh, normally, they go after whatever it is that they're focused on. Some Libras may experience a greater ex uh, expansion in creative energies here. Uh, that leads to a greater in-depth of passion, intensity, and definitely this card represents sexual energy as well as sexual expression. Four of Swords is the card that represents rest, relaxation, rejuvenation, planning future trips, but it may be delayed or, you know, canceled uh, with the Eight of Wands in the reverse here. This is detaching your energies. Uh, from your work, from your relationships momentarily, just reclaiming your independence and your freedom and just doing something exclusively just for you. And you need to rest up on something because you don't want this energy to go beyond the Four of Swords energy because then that's more conflicting uh, problems that could occur. The Page of Pentacles is the uh, job offer, the contract offer, birth of a business idea or the start of a business. Shadow energy here for you. We have the uh, Five of Swords here trying to figure something out. It's on a minor scale here, um, Libra, you know, just trying to put something in its place. Again, I said you have to be careful about people uh, playing mind games, head games with you on the negative side of the magician. That might be part of it. And then have to be, you know, um, don't necessarily have to be concerned about it, but there could be something uh, that you have that someone is envious of. Then we have... Um, Oh, I'm sorry. I just switched the cards here. Why the hell did I do that? All right. So following that, we have the queen. I talked about that. Paying attention to your intuition. Mother of all love. She's concerning. She's um, warm. She's welcome. Yeah, welcoming. She's intuitive. She's passionate. This is the caretaker. 
okay? So this is the important person that comes through and takes care of everybody and everything, all right? On a good emotional level. The Nine of Wands, like I said before, you may pick up some sort of energy here and carry out the task that you have set forth uh, at the beginning of the week here. All right, so this is what I have for you, Libra. Not too bad, just me interpreting the cards. Um, give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. I was just looking at the Eight of Wands in the reverse cross mirror and over here to the um, King of Cups. Definitely be careful of communication with family members, friends, and romantic partners. Because this here would indicate if something is not um, conveyed correctly, someone gets upset. Now, it may not be you, but it may be somebody that you're connected to. All right. Keep smiling for me, Libra, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.